Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am giving you a little bit of a house tour, but more than anything, I'm taking you room to room to tell you what is next in our home renovation project. So if you've been following along our journey, we bought this house in November 2019, the very end of November. It was a total disaster makeover project start to finish. We then finished the house, we got it ready to move into during the first lockdown. We moved during lockdown and we have been doing it up ever since. We've just completed our extension and I've had so many questions. What's next? What are you doing next? There are still bits and pieces to do, some projects that we have to get this house finished. So in this video, I'm going to share what they are, as well as round, going room to room to show any little bits and pieces that we may have added since the last update. So if you are new, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I am obviously running this renovation series that this video is included in, as well as doing lots of organization content. At the moment, there's lots of homeschooling content because that's what we're having to do, as well as vlogs, some hauls, clean with me, all that kind of thing. I hope you will love it. Now let's take a look. We are in my bedroom at the moment, so we'll start in here, we'll work around the top of the house, and then we'll go downstairs and see what there is left to do down there. So this is our bedroom. On the face of it, it may not look like a great deal has changed. Most of this uh, furniture is from Ikea, which you will see if you watched my Ikea haul from when all that was delivered, including the mirror and the lights. Even these little pots are from Ikea. So a lot, a lot of Ikea furniture. We do like Ikea furniture in this house. Um, this, I will have, you will have seen this before if you've watched some of my vlogs and things, but I felt it was worth mentioning again, just in case you're new. This is my hair tool organizer and I love it. Just keeps everything so neat and tidy. So I will link that below. That was actually recommended to me by someone in the comments of one of my videos. So I'm always super grateful for your recommendations. And as you can see, I do read them and some of them just are fantastic. Fantastic. So all of those lights, as you know, if you've watched before, they are on an Alexa switch. I'm sorry if that sets yours off. So Alexa, turn dressing table off. Alexa, turn dressing table on. So basically, I know when the lights are off, then all my hair straighteners and things are off too. So the big difference in this room since the last update, I can't remember if I physically talked about this throw, but the keen-eyed among you have noticed it in my videos and things. I originally had a much smaller throw, which only came sort of here to here. That is now the blanket that you see downstairs in our living room. So this is a larger blanket. I will link this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really kind of fluffy and lovely, and it actually covers the bed, so it does look a lot better. Now, the big difference in here and it's not going to, you're not going to notice it very much, but my husband has redone these trims. And the reason is, if you've been watching my Instagram stories, you'll know that we've been having condensation around the windows and it's been driving us mad. Now, one of the reasons he realized when he pulled all this off was that it wasn't properly insulated. So he's done this in quite a few of the rooms and it really has improved the condensation situation. So all this was stripped off. He insulated with foam or something behind there and then put it back on and the condensation has been better a lot better since he's done that so this room pretty much done I will link a blog post where I've linked all the bits and pieces in the bedroom the only thing I can't decide I'm not you sure if you can tell properly on camera but that's really glittery sparkly wallpaper so in person it looks really sparkly especially when the lights are on it I still can't decide if we need something above the bed or if it should be left plain not sure some days I like it plain other days I think it needs something more but generally in here I think we're pretty much done let's go out into the hall I'm gonna have to flick some lights on because it is a direly dark day there we go out here obviously we've got the same sparkly wallpaper another difference since our last update you're going to notice when I turn the light on here it is so loud can you hear that? That roaring sound? This is the other thing that we have changed, or my husband has changed, to help the condensation situation. He has put a much beefier, much stronger extractor fan on, and he's changed the timing so that the fan stays on even after you turn the lights off for a little bit. So, I'm just seeing here. Hello. That um, light just stops the mirror steaming up. 
But that fan is another thing I think that's contributed to reducing the amount of condensation we've seen on our windows. So everything in here is pretty much done now. I think the bathroom is actually finished. I think now that fan is done, there is no more to be done in there. We shall turn off that light and head into Bella's room. Now Bella's room, I'm not quite sure what to do with. We turn on her lights, you can see she also has pretty sparkly wallpaper. Now Bella's room isn't the largest, she has quite a lot of storage as they all do because we've got these built-in wardrobes which if I'm honest need a little bit of a sort out. I think I might have to do a sorting out the children's rooms decluttering kind of video very soon. Anyway, this bed is from Ikea and it's lovely but as you'll see when we go into Will's room he has got a higher bed so Will's bed is kind of window height and he plays under it so much and it gives him that extra floor space. Now Bella is six, so I wonder, should we get a higher bed so she can use the underneath space that goes across here? I'm, this is a really tight area. If we get a higher bed that comes to here, it's gonna be really snug. So I thought if we had panels that perhaps we could access this, because this is like box storage behind here. Maybe it won't matter that there's a higher bed here because you could access the boxes from above. <laughs> Sorry, below, that is below, or above. I don't know, what do we think? I think a higher bed, maybe quite a high bed, I don't know. So she's got lots of play space underneath, or one that's just the same as Will's bed and is kind of this height and then could come along here, or does it go along there? And then the little table could go underneath for playing. She loves her dressing table, she absolutely loves that. But there is some floor space in here. I just thought utilizing the underneath of that would be good. But on the other hand, then I won't be able to like get on her bed and smush her cheeks when she's sleeping because she is just so cute. So do I want to move away from being able to do that or will it make me sad? So Will's bed is not too bad because it's about this height. I can still kiss him goodnight quite easily but if it was a super high bed, I'm only five foot four, it would be a bit tricky and I am bringing it upon myself to have to change higher beds because obviously changing this bed, pretty straightforward. Changing higher beds, bit of a nightmare as I'm sure you will all testify for those of you that have children with bunk beds. So other than just potentially changing Bella's bed in here, this room is done for now. Coming out of Bella's room you can still hear the very noisy fan, at least I can still hear the very noisy fan, in the bathroom. Inside the airing cupboard we've got our laundry basket here, just this hanging storage which sometimes I pop things in to dry and some toilet rolls. Up there's the swimming kit, it's a bit of a joke isn't it because swimming pools aren't open at the moment but never mind. Into William's room which is not the biggest room but he absolutely loves it. He's got this light which actually does not give off much light if I'm honest. It looks super cool, he thinks it looks like the Death Star from Star Wars as you can see from his Star Wars flags, all his Star Wars figures and his Star Wars bunting then he's really into Star Wars. Um, so this room obviously is not looking that bright with the um, light on even but who cares never mind he loves it. So he's got his desk this is the bed that's the same height as the window so I was talking about do we just get one of those for Bella's room or are we better off with a much higher one and not putting it across the window? I don't know. Anyway, William loves this under here. This is his reading den. And I bought him this very retro flip out thing for sleepovers because although we're not allowed other people in the house at the moment to have sleepovers, technically Bella might want to come and sleep over in here with him one evening. Or he was actually going through a phase of sleeping under here on the floor. And I said, well, you can't just sleep on the floor. You've got a mattress. I got him this. And since getting in this, he actually prefers sitting on this and sleeping back up there. So he's got this as his little reading area. I've got the lights under here linked up to the A word. So Will's got the reading lights under there. He loves this little den area. He sometimes puts blankets hanging over the edge. Anyway, Will's room, there's not a great deal to do 
in here. It's just probably going to need a bit of a declutter and organise. I haven't been through all these boxes since we moved in. I think I could probably do with going through them and having a bit of a post-Christmas sort out. Out of William's room and into little Zara's room. Now little Zara is the messiest of my four children, I would say. This room was reasonably tidy earlier. And now, still, she's managed to throw things all over the floor. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, Zara's room definitely lends itself to having a nice big high bed here at some point. But at the moment, she is the kind of child, because she is not yet four, that likes to leap off things. And I think that having a very high bed for her would be asking for trouble. So she's got the largest room because I figured the little ones would all come and play in here. It's got a little bit more floor space and the bigger ones are going to be a bit more like, oh, you don't want to come in my room, you might break my things. So the majority of the storage is actually in here. This definitely needs a big declutter. Now you may have noticed, or you may have seen actually when I did it on my Instagram stories. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you like a bit of speed cleaning motivation or little interim updates. I do daily stories over there, so make sure you're following me. I basically one day decided to swap this bed around because the headboard was up there. So now she's got her table down here, a bit more floor space here. So until she is old enough to have a high bed, I don't know if I prefer it the other way around or that way around. I definitely need to sort all this. This is literally a basket of junk that needs sorting. So other than when she's a little bit older swapping this around and it definitely needs any declutter, then the Zara's room is done. As we come out of Zara's room, I'm not sure if you can still hear it, but that fan is still going off. It is a bit of a noisy aeroplane like whir, but at least it's keeping condensation out of the house. Heading down the stairs, you'll probably notice that needs cleaning. That probably means I need to do a bit of a speed clean video. Anyway, let's head into my teenager's room, which does need a fair amount of bits and pieces doing to it. He's put some of his bits up on the wall and things since moving. His desk is all sort of as he wants it. This all round here needs kind of sorting and tidying. But the main thing that needs doing is his wardrobes need finishing. So these are built-in wardrobes. The doors that we bought for upstairs are mirrors, the big sliding doors, and the innards of these wardrobes are made from the calyx from the old house. So I didn't want this wood finish calyx on display in this house so we've utilized them as the innards of wardrobes so all of that quite frankly looks like a big old mess doesn't it i mean it needs a bit of a tidy as well this is all his wardrobe and then as he doesn't need all the extra space this is sort of coat storage and things even in the old house when the children had surplus wardrobes then we did have sort of communal stuff off sleeves and coats or whatever stored in there anyway we've now finally we've been looking for ages been all able to order big sliding doors and I just want I can't even remember which color we ended up ordering I think it's a lightish gray I think it's going to be a surprise when they arrive so I just want that to look like a wall so the sliding doors hopefully will make it look a bit like the back wall and then it will just hide all of that stuff and then this room I think will look a lot neater he's got all his tv and is it an xbox -y type thing I don't know don't much know about game consoles and things but I think it will be a much nicer space. I'm not sure how much it offends him, but it offends me. So um, I think it'll look a lot neater and tidier. He's also thinking about maybe mounting his guitar on the wall, but I was worried about it getting damaged going on and off the wall. Um, so I've got this freestanding stand for it. So is that better, guitar people, than putting it on the wall? Don't know, not sure. Anyway, into our downstairs loo. You think the, the upstairs one was noisy? Listen to this. When we walk in, the lights come on, and then this one is a really supersonic fan, which is very, very noisy. Um, so again, this room, because that's an external wall and so is that, was getting so much condensation. It was just really, really bad. It was absolutely dripping after a shower. Um, and obviously then we were gonna have problems with mold or whatever. And I was just having to constantly, you know, towel off the condensation every day, and it was seeping into the rest of the house. So I am gonna close that door because it's very, very noisy but those supersonic fans have made all the difference. So into our hall, 
our school bag station obviously doesn't get used much at the moment because there's no school we do want to eventually replace the front door but we're struggling to find the right thing something we like and obviously you can't exactly go shopping and looking at things at the moment because everything is shut now under here this has been a bit of a neglected area, the under the stairs storage. We did temporarily bung these under here and they've served a purpose. We have one box each, one, two, three, four, five, six for shoes. And then there's two boxes of basically junk and then some more junk on there that all needs sorting and organizing. But this, this is gonna be a whole video. This is gonna be a whole project. This is gonna be organization heaven. I cannot wait to show you this. It's coming up in a few weeks time. We've got it booked in to happen. So watch this space, make sure you're subscribed for under the stairs gloriousness because <laughs> at the moment it's looking, well, it's looking a bit messy. Let's face it, isn't it? It's just stuff pouring out, these coats exploding out. It's looking mishmashed, but bear with us. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh, almost forgot to say actually, this is at the bottom of our stairs, opposite the front door. At Halloween, I had a Halloween wreath. And then at Christmas, I had a Christmas wreath. Should I get a spring wreath of flowers or should I get like, I don't know, hanging wicker hearts or something? I just feel like I should use this to hang something on it that I can change seasonally. What should I get? let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously the kind of theme of our house is like whites and greys and you know, pink, cause I like a bit pink. So should I get a pink floral wreath? Would that look good? What do you think? Oh, actually forgot one more thing still needs doing in the teenager's room. Light fittings. What should we get light fitting wise? Now this one is gonna be quite close to this door. So it can't be anything too wide I guess but what would look good light fitting wise in here heading into my office which we'll look at in a second and the laundry area now this laundry area is still unfinished in that we were waiting to choose big sliding doors to cover off all this because if you imagine when I'm sitting here and I'm filming Look what's behind me. Lots of washing and we don't want that. So we want some nice big sliding doors. Again, I just want it to look like a wall and I know we've ordered them. I can't remember what color it is. I think we've ordered light gray, but you'll have to watch this space. So they will be coming and I think that will really finish it off nicely because when this has happened and I've regretted my life choices is by not taking the drying directly out of the dryer and putting it into the corresponding box for the right person. And I've just piled it on there. I can close the doors on it and I won't have to look at the regret of my life choices until I get round to sorting it. So looking forward to having those doors done and then this laundry area will be finished. I am going to film an updated laundry routine full of tips and hacks. So look out for that video soon because I've had lots of requests for it. Into my office area, which is literally just, this used to be once upon a time, a kitchen of the house and we divided it with this big Calyx unit. Now this big Calyx unit does need a sort and declutter. So it works as a brilliant room divider. It's also full of stuff that needs sorting. So that'll be another declutter with me kind of project. The children's artwork is up. Um, if you watch my redoing the office video, you will know that that is a cupboard that houses the boiler. I've got a little Calyx unit there. One of these little cocktail sofa sofas, sofas? sofas one of these little cocktail sofas we've actually got three of these two gray ones and one pink one which i shall show you those when we get around this um was for homeschooling but the children just come in here sometimes when i'm working and sit and color and things and then we've got my desk which i've got my ring light on to light up the room a little bit because it is pretty dingy um the other reason i have my ring light there is because i've been doing a lot of zoom meetings and things so then the light is situated behind my camera so if you are doing online meetings and things um try and make sure that your face is facing the light so if you haven't got a ring light just face 
the window, don't have the light behind you because other people won't be able to see your face properly and you'll look a bit like a ghost and nobody wants that. So face the light and look fabulous. Into the living room where my four children have been making a mess. Excellent. What are we doing, guys? Oh, teenager caught on camera. Just a tiny bit of him. The little ones are making dinner and a mess. Oh, it's a very lovely special meal. Now, um, this play table, we've moved over here to the window. They've really enjoyed having this next to the kitchen. I've enjoyed that the toy kitchen mess stays a little more contained. Sometimes, doesn't always. Um, in our Ikea hall, we put this box up. And then, obviously, just before Christmas, we were very lucky to have our new sofa delivered, which came just about in time. And I wasn't sure before about all the cushions. I love them now. I know they are the same fabric as the sofa and some people have suggested mixing up the fabrics a bit more and I thought, Do you know what, it's just going to annoy me that the patterns are all wrong and stuff. So we're keeping it simple. Not sure if you can even hear me above the din. Zara, what are you doing, my darling? A picnic, is it? It's very nice. You're not, it's not a picnic. Okay. Right, so what's left to do in here? I'm not sure about the light fitting. It was a cheapy little eBay one before we even moved in. Not sure if it's right, but equally I don't know what I want instead. The biggest to do in this room is I want something on this wall. I'm thinking some sort of montage of different shapes of frames of photographs. I originally thought I wanted some of these boxes over there, but now the sofa's in, I'm thinking they might stick out too much. It might be a bit weird. So, I mean, we could just have a big mirror, but I don't know, I'm not sure that would work. So I'm thinking like different frames so we can reframe those. Those frames were never sort of supposed to end up living there. But I was thinking maybe like a large picture, a small picture, you know, like mishmash, different shapes of frames, all white frames, but different shapes and textures. Would that work? And if not, has anyone got any better suggestions? Um, the other thing actually I forgot to mention while I just knit back out here, is these photos, lovely as they are, don't include Zara at all. So I'm thinking of getting rid of that. Again, that was just bunged over from our old house. So just getting rid of that and putting a big mirror there, a big long mirror, because there's not much natural light in here and I thought that might bring some light down here. Where can I get a really nice, I don't know, even know which type I want exactly, lovely long mirror for there. Back into our kitchen, which I will admit, I'm pretty thrilled with now. I'm not sure if you guys have even seen it, like as a little toy, you probably definitely haven't seen it, minus Christmas decorations. So we've got these flowers, which just came from the old house, and sometimes they live there, sometimes they live there, but we have been doing homeschool this morning. We've tidied up for them to have a little break and a play, and we're gonna start homeschooling again in a minute. So at the moment, the flowers are over here. Um, so we've got the under cupboard lighting, I'm really pleased with, um, which is separate. These are on a switch on the wall and the under cupboards are run on the A word. Now, the spots in here are different because they have been run on one of these, which is another smart switch. So you can physically put them on and off, but also you can say A word, turn them on and off. I'm not gonna say the A word now because you're probably already going nuts with the amount of times that your A word has been going on and off during this video. So um, the other thing you might notice is my husband found one of these. I bought a pack of these to change the crystal knobs or to change the plain ones into crystal knobs. There's gotta be a more polite word than knobs to use for those handles, crystal handles. Um, the crystal drawer handles for Bella's room. He had a spare one, so he banged it on there. And do you know what? I like pink, so that's fine. Um, so this we have got, I'm not gonna tell the A, a word to do it, I'm just gonna press the button. There we go. So that's a wax burner. I will link these below. Um, I put my little wax melts in them. Puts a little bit of light, a little bit of nice scent. Plant came in the Ikea haul as well. I do need to pull this out a little bit actually because I'm noticing the scent is probably disappearing up into there. I wanted it like tucked out of the way so the children couldn't knock it, but obviously I don't want it so far in the corner that the scent disappears. Now you have probably noticed, possibly noticed, that some of our homeschool um, bits and pieces are out. They actually live in here when we're not homeschooling, but um, 
in the morning I get them out. These are just the boxes for the children to go back to. There's activities, sticker books, things like that in there for them to do when they're bored in between if they finish their work. And then we've got all our kind of paper and pen caddy and things in the bottom one. So over here we've got um, the other grey sofa, the pink one. I'll go back in the lounge actually and show you the pink one, which I forgot to show you. I wasn't sure if this plant was going to work, but I really love it. I just you know I do I do love it and much like our grass outside you guys will have seen the grass in one of the extension updates I'm pretty sure um, if unless you're new here of course in which case you wouldn't have seen but I am loving the AstroTurf because it was just like a mud bath out there before the children can go and play as soon as it stops raining so it's been raining all morning but now it's stopped they could actually go and play outside because they wouldn't get too muddy and this is actually a really nice place to sit see my husband wanted a log burner here and I like being able to sit here because it's a nice sunny place to sit so overall really really chuffed with our extension there's I don't think there's anything left to do in here other than although we've got a big radiator so it's not especially cold my husband did order what's it called it was a, a gas not a log burner because he wanted a log burner over there but then we wouldn't have been able to have the sofa in here um it's a move when you can move around is it an ethanol burner i don't know he did say in one of the other videos but he's not here at the moment he's off um for a work thing so i'm guessing that's gonna have to go there i don't know i'm glad that we didn't take that space up with a log burner though because i really love the seat the children do sit there um quite a lot so it's i feel a much better use of space oh and the other sofa of course is a little pink one over there now originally i wasn't sure if i wanted like more like a snuggle seat like this either there or over there because these sofas look great but they're not like comfy for sort of snuggling on although as it happens my husband sits on them more than the comfy one which is kind of insane but would i have been better off i don't know having a big snuggly seat either there or over there not sure if i made the right choice there but i am pleased with how it's all kind of come together so as you can see although we are nearly finished there is still a few projects to do the wardrobe doors in dylan's room finishing the bits in the office I really want to get that kind of photo wall in our lounge right, even if we change the photos. I want to make sure the frames are right so that we can just change the photos as the children get older or whatever. But I want to get that kind of looking right. And I've kind of been a bit ugh, to start it because I just don't know where to begin. So um, I want to put together that photo wall and obviously the under the stairs bit. Now that I'm really geeking out over. That is gonna be a really exciting project so make sure you are subscribed for that. But the biggest task I've got now is decluttering. Now we moved in here, when did we move in? Was it April or May 2020? I think it was April. I don't know, we'll have to look back at my videos. We moved in here during lockdown anyway. And I haven't had a mass sort and declutter since. And decluttering is one of those ongoing things. You'll declutter, but then clutter will come back. Clutter will accumulate. So I will be moving on from, as we're finishing off our renovation stuff, moving through into, it's less exciting for me to do, but I love the feeling when it's done, of decluttering and really sorting and organizing inside all those boxes and making sure we can find everything putting systems in place so that is kind of the next phase it's the finishing off and the organizing so make sure you're subscribed for all that thank you so much for watching if you have liked this video please give it a massive thumbs up do not forget to subscribe hit the bell to be notified when i post new videos every tuesday thursday and sunday at 7 p.m my latest video is just across here another video you may enjoy from my channel is just down here i'll see you guys soon bye